What? Wow. wow. I love that music. Hey, welcome. This is Sam and Scott, our Watching Watchman slash Nerdendum. Welcome to the episode. What's up, guys? I'm Scott. I'm Sam. And we're going to be talking about some cool <laughs> stuff in the media. We're going to be talking about nerd stuff going on this month. It's September 2019, just to give us all a time stamp. And uh, I'm excited to be here. I'm um, super excited, too, Scott. You know what I'm saying? I'm excited to see you. You know, this is one of our first, you know, video podcasts and everything. Hey. Like, you know, just crossing over and, you know, just, uh, you know, ah, I don't even know what to do in the camera. <laughs> oh, I do. And it's look at it because otherwise it's creepy. Like, look at this, right? Now I'm, now I'm creepy. <laughs> no, I won't do that. Right. Get too far left or right. You know, you don't oh, want to take man. it. Don't, don't uh, but welcome. That. So we are, we're showcasing some new tech, uh, new mm-hmm. things for us, uh, make things a little easier, bring you the content we want. Uh, you'll notice some new, um, some new microphone rigs we've got. I know I just smacked the microphone. I'm sure Sam will. Yeah, uh, I'll, later. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'm tipping my hat towards mine, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so uh, we're real excited. We hope you sound great. Um, so all that out of the way, let's talk about um, the upcoming premiere okay. of the HBO show Watchmen, which Ooh. I know you're excited about. Super excited. Um, super excited. So some information has come out okay. in the recent days uh, about the show. It uh-huh. is a continuation of the graphic novel. So it turns out we did not waste 12 hours of our time doing a complete recap chapter by chapter check it out Not down below i'm sure there'll be a link here yes. uh and um we find out it is set you know in the present day 1985 went mm-hmm. off as in the books mm-hmm. but there is a terrorist underground started by rorschach um, well, not most started by Rorschach. It was inspired by Rorschach. That's true. Mm-hmm. That's correct. Rorschach did not start anything. He <laughs> did not get an opportunity. Well, uh, if, you, if you listen to our podcast or yeah. even read the graphic novel, you know how that ends. Okay, that's right. So if you've been, <laughs> if you've been paying attention, you know, um, since the '80s, or you know, if you were born after that. Read the graphic okay. novel, listen to our podcast. You know, that's what we're not gatekeepers for. here. You're allowed to be younger than 30. <laughs> so. You're allowed. It's cool. Uh, so that's the big news. The other news is the reason all the cops are unmasked is because people are messing with cops. So all the cops were masked now. Yeah. And so they've adopted right. the um, the uh, the masks of, uh, you know, our heroes. Right. Uh, right so that's right. what we are. The um, the vigilant or well, the villains or the, the um, bad guys you know, are just all over the place and everything. So now cops got to hide their, you know, themselves. Mm-hmm. So they got to protect their families. It's escalation, right? Yeah, escalation. So, that's exactly escalation that's is continuing on even after, you know, the um, the, 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 um, the um, beginning of the Watchmen, <laughs> the first the first right. 12 issues. You know, That's right. I, 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 that... ju- I just think it's just so funny how, this is a continuation of a graphic novel. It's not, it, even though it was a movie, which we'll get into and talk about and everything. I just find it just so interesting that they're continuing this as if the movie didn't happen. Right, and I think that's smart because yeah. the movie has to be its own thing for yeah, reasons that thing. you know mm-hmm. upcoming. So let's talk schedule just a little bit. We'll yeah. be releasing our movie okay. episodes here mm-hmm. coming up. Uh, I don't think we have a couple episodes left in the tank to finish out our recap. Yes, is that right? Yep, that is correct. Um, the premiere, series premiere, it will be October 20th. We just found out about a, a couple weeks ago now. Um, I know, we're so, so happy. We're so yeah, ready to... Super, super excited. So if you've been checking out our Instagram, we've been counting down the days. Um, checking out Twitter, um, Facebook, we've been counting down the days, and we'll continue to count down. So make sure you follow us and subscribe. Do everything yeah. that you need to do in order to make sure that you're with us when the premiere happens. That's uh, that, the name of that show. Sam and Scott are watching Watchmen. You can check us out on any of your podcast apps, and that's where we're going to be. Uh, where we're going to be, uh, hopefully, as soon after the episodes as we can get them done. Yeah. Uh, we'll see about the turnaround schedule, TBA uh, for the weeks. Mm-hmm. But we are very excited. We hope you'll join us. We will uh, and be that, diligent as far as that too. So you yes. know, as soon as the episode happens, we're going to be right there. You know, we're not going to you know delay or anything like that. You know, these are is it is it eight to ten episodes? Do we do we have an episode count yet? I don't know if we have an episode count quite okay. yet. Uh, I don't think, I it's, think it's more it, than ten. I don't no, think it's it more than ten. More than that. Mm-hmm. Um, so real excited about that. Um, you know. Uh, that's Sam and Scott are watching Watchmen's our project uh, we're working on right now. I do want to talk briefly since it is September and okay. we're going to talk something topical here because this okay. is a Nerdendum crossover. It's not all Watchmen content. Right. Uh, before doing so, I think it's time for us to do an ad break. So we're going to uh-huh. do an ad break, a classic ad break here today. The video cast is brought to you by CrazyMan.com. 
crazyman.com. Check it out for all of your crazy person needs. Uh, check out the album there. Uh, keep your eyes peeled. I think there's some. Uh, I think Crazy Man's been talking about doing a uh, little extra stuff uh, well, on extra, the horizon. Crazy extra, Man, extra, extra, extra. You know, read all about it. You know, you were listening so before, but now you're gonna read all about it. Right. And check out, as always, our website. So the other ad is for a nerd. Cyclopedia.com. That is our website. We can check out our blogs, our reviews of media. I got a review cooking up right now on a <laughs> goofy DC animated universe okay. uh, feature. Okay. We're going to get up there soon, so check that out. Okay. Um, awesome, partial awesome. to Batman 66, guys. I don't, I'm not embarrassed of that. Hey, no, so. no. That was an awesome time there. I, was a, I used to hate it as a kid. But man, when I grew up and you know just got older and everything, it used to, I, it was real nostalgic. That was Batman at his classic finest, right there. That's absolutely correct. This is for network TV. Uh, they made it in color. They made it in a lot of colors. That's <laughs> yeah. You know, you know, one of my favorite villains in the old Batman was the Joker. Uh, uh, as uh, a, the classic with the uh, the mustache. See, see, you know, like, Cesar Romero. You Cesar know, Romero. I was like, shave your mustache. The... <laughs> no way. This is TV. No, not I did not shave my mustache for television. Uh, <laughs> But, uh, you know, we are talking now about, we're going to transition, talk about the movie The Joker. Ah, the Joker okay. movie coming out. A Todd Phillips joint, so it's the same dude that did Old School. <laughs> it's the guy that directed the, the, this thing. The, the hangover, you know, it's like, okay, he's doing a Joker? Alrighty yeah. then, how is this going to um, play out? How much and, comedy is going to be in this movie? Oh, man. You know, you hope, that's what I want to see. I want to see what, how this, this person unravels. You know, uh, there's been a lot of talk uh, so far. You know, Joaquin Phoenix is a guy who can really disappear into a role. And, yeah. Yeah. you know, yeah. when you get that sort of dedication to something with as big of a cultural footprint as the Joker, I mean, it, it just, you get results. You know, the money I mean, will spend. It's, it's, he's a um, master at his craft, you know, mm. um, He's been nominated for Oscars many times and everything. Uh, has he? Um, has he? I, I don't. I don't have any. He won in '99 for for Gladiator, didn't he? For oh, okay, Com- okay, okay. It was his okay. first big role that I remember. Okay, first. okay, all right. So I yeah, he's, he's. If I'm wrong, hey, hashtag hate Sam and hashtag hate Sky. You know how we do it. <laughs> uh, so that that performance, you know, that's mm-hmm. the thing about a movie like this. When you have an actor of that caliber taking on a role that's like so iconic as this, right? Um, you know, you can kind of pencil in at least anticipation. I mean, certainly you're gonna get my eight bucks or <laughs> whatever. Oh, kind that's of just, like that's regardless. We're going. That, that's so you good. know, that's just a prerequisite. So so one hopes <laughs> that you know. One hopes that at least we get a, you know a good you know a, a good multiple choice origin story or something along those lines. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it translates to uh, you know a revival for the DC uh, you know CU. Um, you know, what, whatever that is, I don't think this this takes place in the back. I, I've been reading like um, articles and everything. He said this in no way takes place in like the regular Batman ish universe. Well, then you what's know? the point? I mean, I, I don't know, but I hear it has Thomas Wayne in it. I hear it has little Bruce Wayne. Um, so, I, it's like saying it's like saying I'm gonna make a movie about Moriarty, but not put Sherlock Holmes. In. <laughs> I just want to see what it's like for him growing up. You know what what made him that, an evil mastermind? That, that's his own standalone thing. So we don't need to put it. In, uh, we don't need to have it relate to anything. Well, I, we'll I guess I guess their plans is they're 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 not gonna approach this movie again. Like you know, Joaquin is not gonna. He says he's not gonna um, be in another Joker movie. You know, Todd Phillips says he's not going to direct another one because there's just so many out there. I mean, we already had another version. What like um, when did Dark Knight come out? Two thousand eight. Two thousand eight. Okay. Okay. Wow, man. <laughs> yeah, that was a while ago. So we had the Heath Ledger version. So maybe another ten years, uh, eight, nine, ten years, uh, another version will come out. Um, I mean, there's an artistic way to do this where yeah. there's, you know, uh, uh, where Joker's Apparently, there and you never see him on screen, but he's known to be, yeah. you know, referred to as being like the guy. Right. Um, I, I think that for me, I mean, I'm going to, of course, go to see the movie no matter what happens, but I always want to see the Joker become the Joker because of, of Batman. I know I don't like seeing the development of, mm-hmm. of one without the other. You know, and of course, that's most famous for how Tim Burton tied that all together in '89. Which, yeah. uh, you know, you don't need to be that that specific. Yeah, that that was the way he did. Doesn't have to be that direct causality. Super, like super specific. I guess it was to really bring along like the the casual and the you know comic mm-hmm. book audience together to see. Okay, we need to tie these two together because really, um, I, I think the, the the Batman Begins got it right when yeah. it was it was escalation when he came out. 
when yep. when Batman um, came out and actually you know started dressing in a costume and everything, he escalated um, other villains to come out or bad guys to mm-hmm. put on their personas and stuff, which then thus created the Joker. So and it, and there's a reason mm-hmm. you know that this guy isn't just knocking off armored cars and getting away with it, right? And it's not it's because there's a reason these crimes become more and more ostentatious and he signs his name. You know, it's it's because of Batman. It's this competition that he right. feels right for it's, Batman. And I I feel like that's a piece of this character that I don't want to lose. Well, you know? it's 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 I, it's a um he wants to break Batman down. Mm-hmm. You know, Batman is a symbol of of uh, I guess hope of order. Okay, you know, Joker is the um you know agent of chaos. You know, um and Batman represents order to him. So that can't exist without the other. In a, in a sense, Batman you know tried to it, you know his his origin is you know he he comes to be a superhero or mass costume hero because he's not doesn't have any powers um and becomes a hero to you know save like um save save like the city and everything Mm -hmm. so this sense of order trying to keep everything under control you know um triggers a person to magnify themselves into being you know an agent of chaos which is what the Mm -hmm. joker represents so for this movie to come out um we don't know how it's going to be. It might be like the, the, the Oscar winning movie of the year and everything, but it is an odd way of bringing this character about. I am excited to see Robert De Niro playing the late night host because of <laughs> King of Comedy. Yeah. I think it's just such a great inversion. And, you know, De Niro's going to bring it. Obviously, Always. we've talked about Joaquin Phoenix is going to be, you know, um, certainly insane and excellent. Mm-hmm. Right. So we'll see how it goes. I'm definitely approaching this with an open mind. I yeah. think there's the right way to do it. And I think that. The right way to do it is somewhere along the path they're on, right? Well, so I can't, I can't be upset yet. No, not not at all. The comics, uh, the, the way well, he, they just had to premiere in Venice and everything. They mm. given it a, like a Golden Lion Award already, you know, saying that uh, Joaquin just did a masterful job as far as this. Um, they said there's a lot of things in there that comments on today's society. You know, mm-hmm. as far as the way the Joker reacts and the violence that happens and just um, um, the way people react to people, you know, um, and how things can get out of control. So I'm kind of anxious to see how that is. And mm-hmm. I've just been hearing just comments, uh, you know, how is this going to affect people? Is it going to trigger people to do some of the things, the same things that he does? I mean, right. meh. a movie is a movie at the end of the day. You know, you're there to be entertained. So if someone... You know, decides they want to do copycats and stuff. Eh, you know, mm-hmm. can you really blame you know blame a movie for that? Yeah, I mean, I understand that for sure. I think that there's something about you know when there's an insipid sort of negative force in society that glorifying or causing people to have sympathy for those negative right. sort of forces is something that you want to avoid. But again, I haven't seen the movie, so it's hard for me to comment yeah, on that yeah. sort of thing one way or the other. Yeah, we, um, could, we could table that until the actual movie comes out, and then we can... <laughs> let's give it a shot, yeah, and then we'll get the knives out. <laughs> really get going. Oh, get you some sugar cubes. Yeah, buddy. Oh, man. <laughs> you guys better be paying attention. I hope you are. So... <laughs> So that's that's about, I guess, what we have time for today. I just wanted to check in with everybody real quick, give you an update what's going on here with the show, and uh, you know, uh, talk to everyone about how excited we are about uh, the new uh, the new Watchmen show on HBO. Oh, man. It's, 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 it's just it's, it's been a long time coming. Cannot wait for this you know show to finally touch down. Um, been a big fan of the creator Damon Lindelof uh, ever uh, since Leftovers, ever since Lost. You know the stuff he's done. He, if anyone has a grasp on this material, I think it will be him. Although Alan Moore has cursed anyone who tries to touch this material, <laughs> and he definitely looks like the type of person that could pull a curse off. Yeah. If you just if you see <laughs> if you see a picture, either that or yeah, he's uh. <laughs> I mean, his brain is something else. But, uh, Mr. L- hey, it, it is something else, but it created some it's some of the best works in comic book history, man. Mm. Watchmen, I, me and Scott did that um, final um, chapter, the 12th issue, and it was very, very satisfying. I mean, yeah. I, I'll, I'll speak for myself. It was very satisfying for me. You know, the, to the layers of... Um, you know, the layers that he put upon layers and, you know, the callbacks and everything and how he just wrapped everything up, you know, allegories and stuff just 
different stuff that he put into it, him and um, um, Dave Gibbons and, you know, John Higgins with the colors. You know, mm -hmm. it was just a masterpiece at its finest. And that's the thing I think we want to convey to people and in our passion as far as this. We love Watchmen so much that we decided to do a podcast about it. You know, other people have done podcasts, but they're not going to do it like how we do. Mm -hmm. You're not going to find 12 hours of analysis leading up to the new show. I mean, and that's 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 something we not decided like to how do. we do it. We decided to do it against better judgment. Oh, yeah, it's really yeah. what it comes down to. But hey, uh, so join us there. Uh, check us out on our feeds, Nerd Cyclopedia, uh, where we break everything down A to Z, Nerdendum, where you're maybe finding us here, where we talk about current events. And of course, Sam and Scott are watching Watchmen, where we break down the HBO show Watchmen. Signing off, I'm Scott. And I'm Sam. And we'll see you when we see you. Yeah, buddy. <laughs>